are you? Do you think there's been a, an improvement in the roster? Yeah, I think so. I think any time you can, you can add sort of prove an NHL or steer lineup, it's it's going to be beneficial for the group. So uh, I'm excited to see those guys out there and, and uh, uh, start playing with them. How does your mindset change? I mean, last year this was a, it was a tryout deal in some ways, and now you're committed. You're committed here long term. How does your approach then change now that you know that your future is certain? I don't think my mindset changes really. I think it's more of, I don't know. I think last year there's there's there was a lot of adjustment, a lot of change. I think, and you're meeting new people, meeting new teammates, and I think you get a little bit more comfortable. For me, I'm a little more comfortable this year, sort of knowing the situation, knowing the guys, and um, but your mindset. I think my mindset's always to try and be the best player you can be and and help the team as much as you can, and that that's not going to change. I think and. I think the situation changed a little bit, but that's just sort of, uh, sort of the sort of the outside thing with the, your mindset thing you can control. I think it it, it doesn't really doesn't really change much. You, you think though you, you you're more comfortable in some way knowing the situation and knowing that you're here for a long time. You can be more assertive in certain situations where you can take more of a I don't want to say leadership role, but just more take a, be be a little bit more assertive in in, in the team's future goals beyond. The yeah, I, I think so in a way. I think that uh, I think that the more comfortable you are around people, the more sort of you know people and more people know how you sort of react in different situations or, or just sort of your personality and um those those things help I think as you as you gain familiarity with people and, and uh people gain familiarity with you, they can you can sort of build on on things you've done in the past and past experiences and um yeah i think that that for sure that this this year you want to take another step in in that sort of uh uh in that aspect i guess of of the game and uh hopefully we can uh, uh move forward here and and, and uh and uh, have a good year Um, I don't know if it's it's a challenge. I think for for anyone, it's it's sort of learning a new system, maybe sort of how he likes to play, and and uh, but I think as a player, like you just have to worry about yourself. I think the coach has to worry about a lot of guys, and as a player, you just got to worry about yourself. So, um, yeah, I think he's he's gonna teach us and and sort of. Uh, let us know sort of what he wants in training camp, and and we have some exhibition games to work through those things. And uh, uh, as a player, you adjust and and uh, again, just just try and try and try and help uh, help the team as best you can. And um, I think it does add some excitement. So as a player, that's that's always that's always good. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, I think that you just try and use your experience. I think we have, we have a lot of young guys, I think, um, going through last year, obviously we kind of had some, some, uh, some ups and downs and they were, they were pretty, uh, there's a pretty big contrast between the two. And, uh, I think anytime you, you go through a, a season, whether you you end up sort of sort of happy or, or successful or, or disappointed, I think you can you can always learn something. I think for us as a group and individually, I think guys go home over the summer, they reflect, and um, you're that much better for next year because you've been through that situation, you've experienced it, and um, the next time you get get into a season, you you approach a similar situation, you can you can approach it with the mindset that, that you've been here before, you know sort of uh, how you reacted before, and... Um, things you'd like to do better and and uh and maybe things you'd like to keep the same so i think that just overall as a group we'll be better just having been through last season and then individually i think it's it's up to everyone else everyone as a as a person to sort of grow and, and keep getting better what are your first impressions of Real? um 
I think he's he's passionate. I think he's he's excited. Um, obviously, he's he's uh, he's pretty intelligent with sort of his resume. I think it's it's pretty unique. But uh, I think as a player, seeing a guy that that passionate, that excited to to sort of get going, that kind of that can come that can become contagious. And I think it's 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 uh, it's it's fun to be around. So um, yeah, I'm excited to get going and and, and playing for him. Uh, not really. I don't think, I mean, I don't think you go into the season. I think for me, I just go into the season trying to get one and then, and then you go from there, I think. And so obviously sort of producing offensively is part of my job, but I don't think sort of last season sort of adds more pressure. I think it's just, that's just what I, that's what you expect of yourself. I think you expect to keep getting better. You expect to keep helping the team win. And, um, that's what I'm going to keep trying to do. I mean, I got a lot of a lot of uh, buddies on that team. Obviously, they 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 had a good run. Um, I was happy for them, but I think I mean, it's it, it is what it is. Kind of, I think like I'm, I'm a saber and and as focused on here. We we didn't reach our goal, and and that's disappointing. I think once the season ends, you kind of reflect on your season, sort of how you can get better for next year, while you sort of keep an eye on the playoffs and sort of what's going on and. Um. Yeah, that's that's sort of how it happened. I think you sort of see it in the background, and uh, and you, your main focus is is keep getting better and and sort of trying to help the group here. What is the lesson every player in the league takes from the St. Louis Blues? Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I think obviously the parity in the league it shows that anyone can win every night, and sort of. Obviously, where they were at in, in the middle of the season is, isn't where they ended up. So, I don't know. I think it's uh, everyone's written it sort of like they went from last place, I don't know, last place, I think, to, to winning the cup. And you just have to keep keep plugging away, I think. They got on a run. They they went into the playoffs on, a, on a, obviously a pretty hot streak, and they sort of carried it to, to the cup final and won. So, um yeah, I think that's just the way the league is now. Anyone can win on any night, and any team can get hot for for an extended period of time. And um, you have to sort of keep that in mind and, and sort of bring that sort of consistent effort every night and and uh, and uh, try and try and come out on top more than you do on the bottom there. I don't know. I mean, I, I think. Nowadays, I think everyone sort of talks about speed and, and the game so fast. Uh, I think we got a lot of guys that can skate. Uh, you probably have to ask him. I think just sort of looking at our group, I think it's going to be an exciting team to watch. Um, again, we got a lot of young guys. I think that they're going to continue to take steps forward, and uh, that's going to be fun to watch, I think. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll see, uh, we'll see sort of system-wise what he wants, but... I'd expect to be up tempo and, and uh, a lot of emphasis on speed because I think that's the strength of our team. Darlene mentioned having more fun on a daily basis. Obviously, winning brings the most fun, but what else can the team do to just keep the energy up? Yeah, yeah, wins, winning's uh, a lot more fun. I think it's more fun to come to the rink after a win. So, I, I mean, I don't know. I think. Everyone's different. I think everyone comes to the rink and, and expresses themselves in a different way. and. Um, I don't know. There's going to be ups and downs in every season, and there's going to be ups and downs as a group, ups and downs personally. And um, I think the the sort of the more you play and the more experience you get, the more you're able to recognize the ups and downs and and sort of um, 